while you're all awake, I'll ask a question. Who here has used the sightline checker in 12D to check your stopping sight distance? Yeah, most people have used it. That's good. We're just going to have a quick look, and it will be quick because we want to get on to Dave so that he can show you his dimension stuff. Just going to have a look at the new features in the sightline checkers and, uh, and a few other features there as well. All right, underneath the design menu, sight lines, we've got all the new sight checkers now. So the new sight distance enhanced sits at the top there. Sort of pre-filled this out, ready to go. Most of you be used to the center line fill out. Uh, you went in, picked your super alignment, selected your interval and your trial intervals, that sort of thing. And you would have looked up your table or done your minimum calculation through one of the Osro calcs and put in your two distances. And none of that's changed, that's all per normal. And of course, skip through to your, your eye and you would have set your target for those sight lines. And you would run it as per normal. So that's fine. Run that. And you'll get your, your green and red sight lines as per normal there. All right, so what's new in here? Now, with this sight line checker, you can tick this calculate minimum sight distance box. So that will uh, gray out the minimum distance there. And we now have this safe limit tab. And the safe limit tab here will, uh, you can put the speed of your road in, of course, your reaction time. So in this case, maybe I can get away with two seconds instead of two and a half, and your deceleration coefficient. And it'll go through and now use the Osroads calculation. So everyone's seen that? Well, maybe I'll show you. Use the new Explorer toolbar here. And in my user folder, look at that, got an Osroads folder there. Open it up. We'll come down. I think it's on this one. Stopping sight distance. Everyone's seen this calculation before, yep. Okay. And that using that calculation, you can put your grade of your road in there as well. So now using the safe limit here with these uh, with your parameters that you enter, 12D will extract the grades out of the long section now, so you've got your grade correction grade corrections applied to your sight distance checker now. So that is awesome to have that in there. So now if we run it, we'll just overwrite that. Should be throwing up a report. Here we go. So now it'll recalculate your minimum sight distance. So you get your maximum there, but also recalculate your minimum. So I'm sure that'll be nice and handy to have that one in. The other new feature in here is we've all had the bridge tins before, so you've put your bridge tins in there. So if you're going underneath, it checks your sight line underneath your bridge, that's fine. But now what we have is uh, an obstructions tab as well. And inside the obstructions tab, you can put things like billboards, extrusions. This afternoon, Peter's going to show you the shapes and tri meshes. So you'll be able to put all those sort of things in as well, and or any sort of models with super strings, that sort of thing in it. So if we were to, I've just got a billboard here, so if I go and turn it on, there we go, nice billboard, just happens to be in the middle of the road, it's all good. We can add that now to the, to the list here, hit the sight line again, and inside the report now, you've got a, uh, an object obstruction and it's the sign. Okay, So you'll be able to do all those sorts of things now as well instead of just building up a super tin to create those obstructions for you. All right, so that's the sight line checker. The other, one of the other new ones inside here is the view shed. So just come over to this intersection over here. Uh, you may want to check something like your sight distance or just general obstacles around an intersection. So this is where this one will come into play, again under the design sight lines uh, and view shed all. Just using the super tin here, the height of target that you're looking for. So I've just pretty much gone for the safe 
intersection site distance sort of details. You can set start angle and end angle for a radius of rays that will go around from a point and the minimum and maximum sight distances you want to check for those as well. Again you can set your eye position so that's just a coordinate. I've picked it five meters back from uh, the holding line there which is a standard check. The other one is the three meter. You've got a results area and then you can choose what model you want your rays to go in. So this is the rays that it's going to produce. Again, you've got a bridge tin and also the same obstructions tab as well. So your billboards, extrusions, uh, tri meshes, whatever else you want to put in there. I'm going to worry about that one here. So if we calculate that one, what the view shed will look like now, you get your overall model. Not quite what I was after. So I've got a view shed visible. So I can go in and go, um, yep, everything's working okay there. I can see those fine. You can put them into your section. I might want to check this one. Okay, so at the moment it's saying it's fine. But then you might come along and do something like this. I just put a super string in there to replicate maybe a bus shelter for a bus stop. Add it to the obstructions area there. Hit view shed again. And you'll see that ray has disappeared out of that area. So now if I go and turn on the sight lines invisible one, I can see that one there. And the, the, uh, the level of detail you get out of this one is you'll be able to see where you can get to your, uh, achieve your goals, but then it'll show you the visible line that's hitting. Okay. Uh, maybe just something else on those ones. So for the other ones that fail there, if I was to profile one of those, probably show it off a little bit better. You can see the cyan part of the line there is to where I can see to that 1.25 metre height, so that's telling me it's okay. But for the rest of that maximum distance, I cannot see 1.25 metres above the tin in that area. So a few little uh, tools there to help you check some sight lines around intersections and that sort of thing. Okay, all yours.